Okay, this is the whole set of impedance tube that will be used for measuring sound absorption of materials. We have a generator, we have an amplifier, we have a computer, uh, we have a tubes. Okay, this is the the channel impedance tube. Okay, so this is the absorption tube. So we have a microphone A, microphone B. Sample will be put in here, right? Uh, this is the amplifier, amplifier, and this is the generator. This generator produces sound and will be amplified by the amplifier and then channel to the tubes. All right. So uh, the generator will be connected to the to the um, channel by using microphone A and B. So this is called channel three, channel four. And the computer, uh, where the uh, impedance tube software installed here, we need a long LAN connection and must be connected to the computer. Here, the computer, connected to the computer. And we have the dongle, don't forget the dongle. The, the software won't work. Alright. Okay, this one. Produce light. Right. And make sure that when you doing the large sample, this one must be point at linear. Right. If we measure the uh, sound absorption of any material, the first thing first is that we need to calibrate our uh, impedance tube. We calibrate the um, microphone and then we use the um, reference sample to get the uh, reference reading. Once it is okay, meaning that we can use our impedance tube without doubt. And then we put the our material. That is open the uh, large tube since we use large tube. Large tube. Large tube, SDC, double click, double click it. All right, so here, there you go. We got the the what do you call that? All right. Okay, so parameter is incorrect. Don't worry about that. So before we start the measurement, make sure that we do the project setup here. Project setup. Oh, okay, we have a the menu here. Okay. Alright. So we have tube, tube, measurement, generator environment option and front end so do click one by one the, the tube because we're using the large tube so here is we got a lot of uh, drop down here so we se select large the measurement okay the line we choose 800 the span 1.6 average 100 the generator okay we choose random with the signal level 0 0.5 okay so I think 0 0.5 is enough the environment okay the environment this is the atmospheric pressure uh, the temperature relative humidity is 64 so if possible if we have a, a relative humidity a meter for your room so it is uh, and then choose the option so here we put 10 10 db 
Auto Spectrum Maximum Minimum 60 Calibration Factor Exit Plus Minus 2 Okay, then Alright Let's put here So this is the important one, the front end Make sure that we have a slot number 1 for signal microphone A So this is microphone A Microphone B You can see here Microphone B Microphone A here Microphone A Right So um, Microphone A Will be connected by channel 3 This is the channel 3 Channel 3 uh, With uh, While For Microphone B It will It will be the channel 4 then uh, the transducer's number. Transducer's number is the number inside here. We have uh, the number here. Okay, you can open it. So, oh. of transducers you can see that So both of them is 487 So do input at the transducers And then the serial number Just now we got the serial number 3175032 And then everything Okay Generator one And then press connect signal This one So it will show you signal connected Okay, then first okay. Okay, uh, for the next step is channel calibration. Okay, press channel calibration. Alright, this is the calibrator. I have the calibrator here. Alright. And we will calibrate the the microphone. So this is the microphone A, microphone B. So we're going to calibrate both of them so then switch on the calibrator this is the calibrator and then let's do okay take this one inside calibrator so now we're going to calibrate Calibrate the other one. Back here. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We go to the uh, signal to noise ratio. Just double click it, and then.
so now we will measure uh, the background noise in this tube yeah, the, the tube no, uh, background noise just press start yeah. background noise yeah and this is the signal to noise ratio right. okay now we need to transfer function calibration press it okay uh, this is the interface okay make it larger okay interchange microphone microphone positions right so we need to change the microphone A to B and B to A right let's do it violates the allowed range Exit 
measure the sound absorption uh, for the reference sample. The reference sample is a sponge here. So we have the reading given by the uh, manufacturer. So we tried first whether uh, our uh, impedance sample is okay. Sample here, right? Okay. And then this is the sample, reference sample. Okay. Right. Okay. Let us do the measurement for the our reference sample. So now click measurement. All right. Reference for today, 14 November. Okay, and then add edit okay. at the directory, and then press start. This is our reading. See here, absorption coefficient. Okay, so if you want to see the um, the result, yeah, this is uh, the unit. It's not what we want. Therefore, we go to the post processing. Okay, in the post post processing click large because we use large okay not average uh, go to the extraction sorry so we need to go to the large sample and then click the reference 14 yeah here all right our our one is reference 14 november then extract click extract okay they will extract our data and then to see the result click project uh, setup 
and then mm, where's the here okay fx okay you can see here the interface function organizer okay so let's look our one here extract large extraction 15 November just click here also there you go we got the the value of the reference sample so here the DB divided by 100 we need to change it to the linear okay you can see here okay then change once again to the to get the uh, coefficient coefficient in between 0 to 1 so change the number format to the fix so there you go we have a uh, the new reading all right the new reading the, the reading yeah so double click it on your right right click get the copy active curve all right then export it to the excel paste it to the excel okay click the excel paste here right then delete the the info that we don't want actually the uh, large sample is between 50 hertz to 160 so we need to remove uh, below 50 so here we have a start 50 we, we, we want the reading from 500e exponent 01 is equal with 50 hertz therefore we delete it okay there we go so change it to the next step we change it to the number number okay number okay click okay all right so we can plot it okay insert okay the the graph okay so this is our reference sample so we can name it as reference sample reference sample sample so um, so this is the reference sample okay so we need to compare uh, the reading from our reference sample with the value given by the manufacturer for the for the reference punch so this is the reading from the manufacturer so we can compare if it is uh, similar so meaning that the reading is okay the first one is the first one from the sample is reference sample is 0 0.04 0 0.04 here we got 0 0.02 the second one is 0 0.01 80 minus 0 0.05 and so on the highest is 0 0.29 0 0.24 0 0.9 is a small disparity so we consider our impedance tube uh, reading can be used for the test so we have a sample here in concrete concrete sample Forest concrete sample. So insert the this tube. Then put it here. Now we click the measurement. Okay. Create a new file here. Say concrete. Okay, then add and press for the measurement. Okay, I'm going. Okay. 
again to see the result go to the post processing again go to the extraction extraction large uh, we need to select One just now is a uh, oh, not in here. So double double click here, large. Okay, you can see the concrete. Click the concrete and then extract. Okay. Okay, to see the result, go to the uh, project setup this one and then you can see here our result is here all right so there, there you go the result again need to change the to the linear and then change to the properties um, with the fix so you get the answer here very high yeah. you can click here copy make it difficult and then again go to the excel with the another sheet paste here and then remove the unwanted data we want from we, we, our data varied from 5 0 so we just remove it okay so we got this we got this then change to the number there the format is for the number okay so we go so we have the value so the highest is at 400 okay so you can plot it so to do the comparison so we can call this one and put it here. Okay. So we did this one. We can plot it. Set. Okay. There you go. This is from the the sponge reference sample, and this is for the concrete. There you go. Okay. Bye.